Well, hello guys and gals, and welcome back to another edition of Construction Simulator 2015 with me, Mr. Moose. And our wind turbine project continues on. I've moved the trucks back over here and done a little bit of repositioning to the crane from our last episode so that we can get these last two pieces picked up and put them on the trucks and get them trucked over to the, um, over to the site. So well, let's jump up in this guy. And let's go ahead and get started with this. And we'll go ahead and move our hook over. And see if we can't get this last piece of the center uh, support done. And load it up. Oops, wrong button there. Trying to rotate, rotate it with the wrong button. Alright, I'm going to put this one on the outside trailer. Go ahead and telescope all the way out. And start to center that up a little bit. And that looks about right. All right, let's check with our other. Oh, no, we got a lot more we got to pull in to get on there. All right, so let's lift. And if we just boom down some. Not too much. We don't want to. We don't want to tear it up on the trailer. See how that is. Looks pretty good to me. All right. And then the last thing we got to get is this box here. Not quite sure what that is. It doesn't look like the turbine. Or housing it looks like maybe that's like the generator rack or something like that or not generator but like a storage unit that goes at the bottom I don't know it could be the housing for the turbine and then telescope in to hit it There we go. All right, so let's lift. Maybe that is the top piece. Maybe that is the actual turbine housing. And then we just have to come back and get the... All right, with the hole in the bottom of it, yeah, that's leading me to believe that's the turbine housing. And that that will actually is what we'll put the turbine into. All right, let's bring that down. And drop that on the trailer. That's about centered. There we go. All right, so I am done here. At this point, we can go chain up both of these guys and what I wouldn't give from the fall for the follow me mod from uh, farm sim in this game so that I could drive both trucks at the same time but we'll grab one and I grabbed the one I didn't want to be in all right so I'll drive this one over to the site and we'll get that staged up and we'll see where we're at hopefully fingers crossed 
this gets us uh, ready to actually start putting some pieces into place instead of just staging them on the ground. That would be really cool. Alright, swing our trailer out, bring it back in because it will fishtail on you if you let it go too far out there. Alright. So I know there's at least four more pieces, three more pieces that need to be brought to the to the site, which are the three blades, but I'm guessing there's a turbine that goes or like a centerpiece that goes as well that has to be brought in. Alright. Jump out here. Unchain our load. And I think we're orientated right. So we should be able to drop that right into place uh, as we get it off of the truck. So anyways, hope you guys are liking this uh, the series. I certainly enjoyed this game a lot. It's, uh, it is hours of entertaining. There we go. Lift off. Come back over. And just slowly lower that down. Because so it should be pretty. We need to actually go out a little bit, but... Oops, don't move, controller. That looks good. All right. So let's get into the low boy. I believe that was low boy two. It was. And we'll pull it out of the way. Actually, I'm just going to take it right back to the steel mill, guys, because I'm going to need it up there. go get the blades for this thing so I might as well drive it back there I know the driving part of this gets old but it's part of the game that you have to do so that's one of those things where I don't know where like exactly where the balance is is how much of this stuff y'all like whether you want to see the driving part of it or not. Of course, I'm not doing it at all realistic. I'm flying through here with this big, huge trailer on the back. Now I know the blades are going to stage over there to the side, so I'm just going to leave this truck right here. Everything stages over here in this area, so I'm a little worried about that crane sitting there, but hopefully it's not in a bad spot. On the road again and head it back down to the site with our last piece for this stage I gotta remember to put my worker back to work so he makes us a little bit of money oh come on back trailer there we go Right. Here we go. Get a 
good look at this thing coming in. And you can see all the wheels tilt out as I make that trailer turn. Or at least you could until I went through the bushes. All right, bring that trailer around a little bit. And we'll bring this guy all the way up here. There we go. Drop the chains off of that. And we will grab the crawler crane. And get it over there. Alright, so I need to boom out a little bit. Probably jib down a little as well. And maybe I'm close to that thing. Yeah, there's no way I can tell without getting on there. So I'm just using the jib to pull it in a little bit. Which the jib is the top section of the crane. There we go. All right, off we go. Bring her over a little bit. We need to rotate that around. I think we need to rotate it. Nope, wrong direction. Rotate it that direction. There we go. All right, so I'm going to bring my boom out a little bit to bring her down and out at the same time and then lower her down boom that's done clear the crawler crane out so let's get the crawler crane and start placing some elements all right I want to be in cab for this so let's get in cab. All right, let's start coming back here to the front because the hook is going to have to be up here because we're grabbing the narrow end of this first. Oh, now that's wrong right there. So I just over I lowered the. I got to do this so you guys can see it. All right, I'm gonna boom down a little bit so that the so the hook of the crane's gonna hit that right, and when it does, watch what happens to the crane. The crane itself is gonna move. Oh well, it didn't do it that time. It did a minute ago. I was laughing at it. All right, come on down here. We're hooked. We're gonna lift straight up. Actually, I would want to. Uh, I'm trying to lift and jib at the same time so that thing didn't bounce around like that, but it didn't work. All right. Let's bring this over here to the site. Drop that down into place. Booyah! Piece number one is done. Now's where it's going to get fun. Alright, hook down. Alright, get that out here to the front. And you should be ready to hook up right there. Come on. Where you at? There it is. Alright, well, I'm going to lift up. There we go. 
she's up and flying and now we're gonna lift up so we can see what we're doing all right wanna oh not so fast with that all right looks pretty good needs to come back to the left just a little bit here we go slowly lower it into place hmm no, we're not right that's retarded the physics on that doesn't quite work all right swing into place again there buddy and let me see where I'm wrong Think maybe I need to jib out a little bit. There we go. All right, jib in a little. Come down. And there we go. That's two. Nice. to bring my jib all the way back towards me and then I'm going to drop my hook back down to the earth here we go and I'm going to have to bring the boom back a little bit the main arm and I should be right there on that there we go hooked up all right, and do a straight lift. All right. I did give that a little boom forward that time as I got it up in the air just so it didn't travel as much. All right. Get this up into place. All right. Looks like we need to maybe jib out just a little bit so that it makes it go further away from us. So just tapping that and then I'm going to start lowering that piece down with the winch and it does look like we're in place. That bar right there is in an inconvenient spot. All right. That is that piece there. All right, bring the hook back down. That's good. Wow, I hit it right on that time. All right, so I'm going to lift straight up. And then as that starts to walk, I'm just going to roll the jib a little bit away from me. It doesn't really work as well as you would want it to. Because you would want the hook to sort of travel away from you. So you're not dragging that piece across the ground. All right. Let's get this guy into place. Nice. All right, looks like we need to jib out some. Ooh, not really. Let's jib back in. I need to lift. Huh. All right. Let's see what we need to do here. Jib out, jib out, jib out. Bring that down. There we go. Oops. You gotta love that physics. 
All right, before it freaks out anymore. All right, let's go ahead and drop down so we can get that box. We're going to reach out a little bit. There's my There's my little thing that tells me where it's at. Tell you what, we're going to track forward just a hair and reposition to get that that'll let me get the crane more vertical as well um, there we go yeah that's fine all right back into this mode we go and I don't see my little don't see my little hook icon it's all right and we'll get that to travel on out there to the box there it is lift it All right, reposition my camera so I can see what I'm doing here. See if I can tilt forward just slightly. Nah. May have to walk forward a little bit. No, nope. I'm right there at it. I just can't see it because of that bar. Tell you what, lift. Let's get in here. Let's crawl real slowly forward. So that we can see the tip of that thing. There we go. Now we can see it. And we can finish this off. Alright, so we're going to just jib out a little bit. And then winch down a little bit. And set that in place. Very nice. Alright, so... That's that. Oh wow, the blades actually just show up on site. So we've got to assemble all those right here and then put them up there. So we're going to have to reposition the crawler a little bit. So well, let's do that. So I think the first thing I need to do is make sure that I got my boom all the way back. And then I'll switch into driving mode. And I want to turn a little bit. So that I'll be able to get those blades. I'll watch out my mirror so I can see what I'm doing behind me. But I got to be able to rotate those blades, so really, I need to come back here quite a bit. All right, let's see. At that position. Hmm. 
Yeah, I may want to rotate even further back. So let's just do that. We'll let the crane, the boom, do the work. Make sure there's nothing behind us to run into. We are getting pretty close to that tree. Mm, I think that's a good position. We'll go with it. All right, so switch over to crane mode. And I think the first thing we would want to get is that hub. So let's travel our hook on out there. And I'll just use the boom. Sorry, I had to cough. Going to get that jib to come over a little bit. We look overhead, you'll see it moving to come out some. One would think that hub is the first thing you want to pick up, so. So let's fly that into place. Bring that on around. And we'll get it to where it needs to be. Y'all know this game would probably be incredible in like an Oculus Rift. So that you could actually get your depth perceptions down, you know? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. I'm a little bit too far out. There we go. That is in place. All right. Time to get wing number one. out there to it come on wing how close am I oh I'm way past it I'm sitting there looking at it thinking I'm right on it and I'm way past it Oh, my depth perception is horrible in this. Do, 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 do. All right. Well, that's why you have hook cam on these things. Right? There she is. All right. Now we can get back into the cab and do our work. All right. So we'll lift. Lift, 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 lift. Boom back to us. Probably want to rotate that a little bit, if it will. We probably ran it into the into this thing. There, it's rotating now. Let's see if we can get our camera up so we can see what we're doing. There we go. Start rotating. 
I'm going to slowly rotate that around while I bring it around the, the base. There we go. I want to boom forward a little bit. Continuing to rotate. Start to bring that out with the jib a little bit and the boom and I still want to rotate a little bit more. Yeah, that truck might be in the way over there. I didn't look at that part. Surely it would have told me if it was in the way. Oh, that is not far enough out. It's got to come back towards me just a little bit. Oh, it's bucking Bronco in. You know you got it when you start to do that. All right, that's one in place. feeling I might have missed that I did I went just a little bit too far on it here we go there we are lift 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 boom back begin to rotate I have to rotate as much because this one's going to go over here to the side so I still want to boom back some. All right. Come on, big blade. Get over here. All right, we're going to move down a little bit. Starting to push her out some. Bringing our winch back up a little bit. Because as we boom down, the winch is going to fall a little bit. Now we're just going to ease it back over. I'm going to winch down a little bit. Bring her over. We look like we need to straighten up a little bit here. So let's raise her up. And it looks like I need to rotate around some. There we go. And now bring her back towards me with the boom. And then lay it down with the crane. And that one's there. All right. One to go. And then we might be able to do the big lift. We might get all that done in this episode. And then just have the excavation work ready uh, for the next part of this. Here's that last piece. 
Lift it up a little bit. Bring it towards me. Oh, this is going to be fun. Actually, I want to swing it out a little bit like so. And I'm going to go ahead and start rotating it around counterclockwise. So that it gets position. Making sure I don't hit the center. There we go. Now we're good. Bring her back around. Boom out just a little bit. Start bringing it down to the ground. And start bringing her down slowly. And I think I've got to rotate a little bit more that way. And I'm going to lift and boom out at the same time to get my position a little bit better. All right, so now I can see by the way it's in the red line here that does appear I'm not lined up quite straight. I don't know, it says I am. Might be off just a little bit. But right there looks good. There we go. Clear the crawler crane. Well, I am clear. Not sure what I got to do next. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Clear the construction area of this. So let's slip into this mode. Spin her around a little bit and we'll back her up. Uh, towards the blue fence. Get out of here enough for him to be happy and give us our next bit of direction. No speed race moving this thing. There we go. Alright, 1x rotary into the correct position. Which I'm guessing is way up there. Which would think we need to reposition ourselves. To do this. So, let's get more around to this side of it. So that we can do the big lift. Remembering that we've got quite a bit of uh, track over there. So I don't want to run into my wheel over there. It's odd it won't let me look over that direction. As soon as I let off the camera it snaps right back to the center position. Making sure I clear it before I rotate too much. All right. Well, I see my lifting point there. It's on the front of that. I 
don't know really where I need to be to lift this. Other than right in this area somewhere. Hmm. But it's got to lift and then go to the front. Um, yeah, let's look at this real quick. So we got to get it up there. So I was thinking I might need more, be more in the front of this thing to do the lift, but I think right here would work too. However, I got to rotate that around. I don't want to hit that blade when I'm doing it. So really, I think I need to be more in that little corner right here. So let's push and put the crawler right there on that corner. Ah, uh, come on. Give me in the cockpit. There we go. So I think if I set up right here on this corner, I'll be all right. All right. Yep. All right. Well, here we go. Here goes nothing. This is one of those butt puckered up moments. All righty. Come to me, Hook. Okay. What is the deal here? Where is Mr. Green Ball? There's Mr. Green Ball. All right, we're hooked. We're going up with her. Oh, I've got to watch this from the external view. Because this is so unrealistic. The way that it's lifting. Okay, whatever. You would probably use two cranes to do this. Well, actually, I don't think they would assemble them like this. And do the full lift like this. I think they put the blades on one at a time to the turbine, but yeah, anyways. That much I've seen now. Uh, at this point, I know I need lift, lift, lift. Uh, I cannot quite see what I want to look at. That's junk. All right, well. Let's do this. Let's back up a little bit so I can actually see the turbine. Let's see if I can see better now. Not really. Total junk. Seriously, how far back do I need to back up in order to be able to see that thing? Oh well, let's back up a little bit more. I need to at least be able to see the front of the turbine. Still can't see it. And now everything's freaking out. Because I think I've hit that tree behind me. I have. Oh, what junk. Give me better views. This is not what I wanted to do. Or this is exactly what I didn't want to do. T 
totally got this screwed up now. This just, I can't see that turbine though from where I'm at. So I guess I'll pull way over here. Now I'll spin it back around. Sorry, ignore this part. This was not what I wanted to do, but if you can't see the box, you're kind of not able to line it up or anything, right? All right. Now let's see what we got. Hey, we can see it now. Good. All right. Reposition our camera again so I can see. Bring that down a little bit so I can actually see what I've got for a unit. Rotate around. All right. Oh, I'm on the. Not all the way around it. Now I got clearance. All right. I didn't even think about checking to see if I could see the top of that thing from where I was on that corner. It just seemed like a logical place to be. Let's see, I think, I think I got to tap that around a little bit to get the alignment and then bring her up a little bit. Hmm. I mean, that looks right right there, but apparently something's not right. Hook cam. Oh, I'm not high enough. Huh. It sure looks it from here. I mean, from here, it looks like we're over it. Oh, there we are. There we are. Boom. It's in place. Whew, that was a challenge. All right, so our turbine is in place. Good, good. And I think that's going to do it for today. Um, yeah. So we've got a little bit more work that we've got to do. Um, let's see what's left on this particular job. Uh, let's see. We've got to ec do some excavating. Uh, then we got to pour concrete and get a transfer from the steel mill and place it. So the crane's got to stick around for a little bit and we got to do some excavating. So we'll do that in our next episode. Uh, until then, thanks for watching, guys. As always, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Appreciate all your support, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, I hope you consider giving it a like, maybe even sharing it with your friends. It does help me out a tremendous amount and is greatly appreciated. Also, leave some comments down below. That's really the only way I can gauge if you guys are enjoying what's being put out. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want daily notifications. I try to do a new video each and every day. Also, if you want to stay in touch with me and find out what's going on, our social links are down in the bottom left-hand corner. 
Twitter is where I usually announce schedule changes, live streams, and new video releases. Facebook's a great way to get in touch with me if you have any questions to ask. And of course, I am trying to get to a thousand followers on Google Plus, which I know I'll probably be old and gray before that happens. But if you can jump over there and follow me, it would be super awesome. So if you like today's video, there's a whole lot more content on the channel. I hope you'll browse through it, find something to keep yourself entertained until the next video or live stream. Speaking of live streams, I try to do them nightly around 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Until the next time, thanks again for watching. See you soon.